Hello, I'm Andrew Malloy, the Automation Wizard, and I'll be going through the Overcast Podcast Player settings. Uh, I'll just go through everything um, that seems relevant uh, through the actual settings menu. And you can reach that here in the top left. So this top left icon, which is the Overcast icon, is actually the settings menu. So if I press that, and here we have the settings page. So I'll just go through everything um, in order. Um, so first thing is we have the accounts page um, and you can uh, sign up to have an account. Um, I don't think you actually need an account for Overcast, but it's really useful for one, being able to access the player online on the web. Um, and uh, you'll certainly need it for the premium feature of the uploads. And also the main thing is syncing between devices. Um, I have this on my iPad as well. And without an account, so you obviously can't sync. Um, I have an older account before um, there was the Apple uh, necessary accounts, um, the Apple sign in. Um, so I believe that's the convert to anonymous. Um, so that would transfer me to being an uh, Apple login accounts um, and you can delete the account as well if you want to start over but why would you want to do that um, the next thing is storage um, so you can see how much storage all your podcasts are currently taking up um, and if you just want to delete everything um, if you're running out of space then you can do that as well or I think you can delete um, specific podcasts as well. Um, if you delete your feed for a podcast, that'll automatically delete the actual downloaded episodes. Relatively new option in the settings is data usage. Um, so you can see how much bandwidth and, and downloads you're actually taking, um, which may be important if you're on a, a download cap or if you're using uh, cell data and uh, concerned how much it's taking. So that's basically memory stuff in the accounts. And then we have the option for Overcast Premium. I covered the main benefits of that, of being the file uploads. And that's um, pretty much worth it alone. Um, if you can't find any reason, then if nothing else, support the developer and um, pay for the premium. Um, you can also get rid of the ads in the podcasts uh, and the um, in the actual player as well, uh, which is only supported if you're not paying premium. And of course you can have the dark icon. Uh, I prefer the dark icons anyway. Um, so that basically covers it for the premium. If you sign up to premium, if you don't sign up to premium, then these don't matter. Um, next thing is the themes. So this is where you're tying it into the light and dark theme of your phone. Um, and the uh, difference between dark and black, if you have natural OLED screen where your darks are actually properly black, then you may want to go for the black theme. Um, and then you can change the font as well and that covers it for the theme. Continuous play, so after listening to an episode, does it continue on to the next one or not? So um, I obviously always have that turned on. Why not just stop when you stop? Um, and of course, um, I covered this in another video, but you actually have the option while listening to, to um, a podcast to actually set a timer to finish at the end of the episode or a defined amount of time. Um, downloading, so just restrict it to whether it only downloads on Wi-Fi or um, cell, cell data. Uh, so this is one that um, I always set to, so uh, what happens with deletions? Um, so you can either just, when you're finished playing an episode, uh, do you have to manually delete it? Uh, so that's for the manually. Uh, when completed, so as soon as it's finished, 
will it automatically delete or 24 hours after completion and as you can see I've got uh, that one selected it's just more convenient to me I think for it to automatically delete but also not immediately um, especially because I have things uh, have the podcasts running at maximum speed if there's something that I haven't quite caught I just want to check again uh, for example um, or maybe something gets a bit uh, screwed up or um, I accidentally left my podcast player uh, running um, while I wasn't actually listening to it or something. Um, there's a few reasons why you may not want to have to go through and work out what podcast you actually hadn't listened to but had then been deleted off your phone. Um, so I that's one reason I always have 24 hours, hours after completion. And uh, the other thing is I always uh, download the episodes rather than uh, stream. Um, just a lot more convenience if you happen to be in the area with uh, poor Wi-Fi or moving from room to room and the one room has poor Wi-Fi than another. It's um, just easier unless you have space issues and then then of course um, easier to stream um, but uh, that's my preference anyway. So uh, the next part under this advanced section uh, nitpicky details and uh, this uh, seek back by and seek forward by uh, those are the options you get on the actual episode as you're listening to it you can skip forward 30 or skip back 30 um, that's where you can actually change these these defaults here um, so you've got various selections from 7 to 60 seconds um, I've never needed to use that um, 30 seconds is enough to skip if I if I find I need to skip by which I usually don't um, so uh, smart resume uh, this is also again especially useful uh, if you're speed listening like I do um, when you maybe have to pause in between uh, while you're actually through um, listening in the middle of an episode and uh, then come back um, it just helps to have that kind of um, slight um, slight uh, rewind to start listening again to just pick up where you were um, and it's it's somewhere in my experience seems to be between 10 to 20 seconds um, in terms of uh, rewind reduce haptics um, depends how much you like or too sensitive with the haptics of your phone so you can actually adjust that in this app um, one tap play um, I have that off but that's basically when you're selecting an episode in, in a list does it automatically play or does it expand um, so I can show that here um, so in my current list so if I was to select the this episode of the Tim Ferriss show um, it expands it to give me various options including play including play here or delete or add to playlist favorite share whatever um, that's what I'm used to but um, if you had that setting on um, with smart resume uh, selecting this wouldn't expand it would just automatically play the episode so I'll go back to the settings uh, let me pick your details. Um, okay, so as you can see, play expert by priority. I've never used that. Um, but um, self explanatory. Basically, it just goes to the next playlist. Um, at the moment, I'm not in the kind of area where I'm using playlists much. I'm just going through everything that I have uh, just in chronological order basically um, icon badge number yeah I like to have that just gives me an idea of what podcasts have come in without actually having to open that app um, or how many um, so speed listening is a case of just getting through the number of episodes um, rather than worrying too much about curation of specific um, episodes I like to just be up to date um, but that's me um, 
so uh, gestures on on uh, headphone remotes so here it's just whether you actually have those enabled or not um, I always leave it enabled um, but to be honest I don't do anything other than uh, play pause and that's automatic with um, AirPods Pro anyway um, AirPods Pro is AirPods Pro um, so uh, you can leave those on if you're if you've got um, headphones with some kind of touch or or control remote um, so there's a nitpicky details Siri shortcuts um, I underuse Siri to be honest and I should probably get more into it but um, these are all the possible kind of commands um, and also it lists your actual podcasts as well um, so you can make those specific um, uh, Siri controls um, so if you just play and you can add that command to uh, to Siri and uh, then control the overcast player from Siri um, per podcast settings so this is the other area rather than actually going into each individual podcast is where you can change some settings so here are the notification settings um, self-explanatory um, unlistened episode limits episode limits so as you can see I just have set it to all um, I've got through the backlog of all podcasts that I currently listen to and if I haven't I'd rather just have those downloaded so I can listen to, listen to all of them um, if you're kind of a bit overwhelmed with too many podcasts then maybe you don't want to limit it to, or if you're low in space um, that's where you can set that in this menu and then we have the feedback section send feedback rate overcast <coughs> the next section uh, import and export so if you're moving uh, from another podcast player you can import as OPML um, which gives the instructions there to actually send it uh, using, the, using the share sheet uh, to Overcast and then it'll import your feeds if you've, you've exported for, for to OPML from another player. And uh, conversely, you can do the reverse. You can export to an OPML file from Overcast if you want to use uh, the feeds in another player. Don't know why you'd want to move to another player. Or if you want to try it, um, or you may find some interesting use of the feed information. I don't know. Let me know if you do. Um, info for podcasters. Um, some information there for um, specifically setting up on Overcast if you're if you're making your own podcast. Privacy and about about just your typical information and credits. And right at the bottom, nifty little info thing and um, the smart speed will actually tell you how many hours you've actually saved just by using smart speed so that um, as I mentioned my features video it saves about 40% so any kind of silence it chops about 40% of the silence out um, it basically adds up those silences here to uh, how many you've actually saved in terms of time and as you can see having gone through a lot of podcasts that's an awful lot of time I've actually saved in, in uh, just by using that smart speed feature which doesn't even speed up the audio at all of course more time to listen to more podcasts so that's basically all the settings in the settings menu um, if you have any queries or think I've missed anything please let me know thanks for watching